Folks, with all the uh, horror in the world, I hate to add to it, but Elon Musk... The feedback loops are interrupted. Yes, Elon Musk has blocked Brett Weinstein, and uh, on I think on X, which is... I mean, it's his... Uh, it's his prerogative. He bought the whole thing. And uh, but here's Brett Weinstein. Most relatable thing he's done since he's uh, bought it. Whining, yeah. <laughs> whining about this. Uh, Brett Weinstein, who I just I just saw a clip of him like talking about how uh, amazing RFK is mm -hmm. uh, brought together by their uh, their animosity towards vaccinations, uh, of course. Uh, but here he is on the Rubin Report. Uh, Dave took a break from his uh, chat show or whatever it is he's doing these days. People and, of the internet. Viral the internet. Clip, clip response. And um, I really want to know who's funding that. Uh, here is uh, Brett Weinstein. Right, largely on Joe Rogan's program. That changed the narrative. And so I... He's talking about anti-vaxxers got on Rogan. Think. Okay, so I just want to be clear. Um, that's one of the reasons why Rogan is, um, uh, uh, reprehensible. Um, it's true. It's weird. Like, it's it one thing to have anti-vaxxers on your program, but when they, uh, leave your program, your audience should be more clear as to why being anti-vax is problematic. But that's not the case. I mean, I can't. I, I, no. But Joe Rogan is an anti-vaxxer himself. Exactly. But he pretends just be an everyman um, who's not a corporate media well, isn't person. Isn't everyman uh, anti-vaxxer? Yeah, exactly. Um, and but 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 the, I don't think there's everyman a who founded a supplement. I don't think there's a show that's more that's more responsible, honestly, in this country for spreading anti-vax misinformation than the Joe Rogan experience. That changed the narrative, and so I think something has meddled with us in a particular in a unique way because frankly there weren't that many people who could bridge the scientific to public. sure but connect connect that to elon blocking you because on one hand i think you're saying he's the good guy in this story so i think yep. there, there's one missing piece here's here. the connection yeah um when i contacted elon after my account was commandeered I was trying to point him to things about my account that does not behave normally. And incidentally, in the conversation that I had with him... I was him, unfollowed from you right before that. Remember, I contacted you and yep. texted you now, and said, hey, Brett, Brett, Brett you, you were one of the first like, four people I ever followed on there. So that's interesting. Yeah. It could mean something. Yeah. I, I'm not sure I'm yeah. not sure what it means. I'll pause but, you for one second. I just want to know and, and be able to warn people, when does the cookie come out that they put in between them as they begin to masturbate? <laughs> I just at what point? Because I just want to be able to warn people. Uh, uh, we do we know at what point in the video the cookie comes out? Yeah. So um, Brett, I also say like he he thinks he's sort of been targeted by the deep state or something. He he his account was hacked in one of those sort of like MacBooks by these MacBooks right, things. Yes. That David Day and also. Yeah. <laughs> I actually texted Day and I was like, hey dude, I'll take one of those uh, MacBooks. He's like, are you serious? And I thought you had extra ones at the the prospect. I Right. I know. But David Dane was, didn't respond saying, actually, this is very serious. I've been targeted by the deep state, Sam. Um, we, yes. This is the, we the entire future of down. the country depends on well, us getting to the bottom of Let's it. do a sit Dane down. Can't, can't reveal that he was targeted by the deep state True. with that Mac thing because then he'll lose all his uh, access. True. Good I, I was try trying to convey something to him, which is I think when you, you know, as you know, because you talked to Elon about the things he was discovering inside of the crime scene that he bought. Yeah. And one of the things that he discovered was that there were lots of mechanisms that caused things to be deboosted that weren't labeled as such. And so he kept finding right. more and more levels. And I was trying to convey to him, look, I think you will find something special when you figure out what happened to us. Now, maybe that's wrong, but I wasn't talking to him privately about this for personal selfish reasons though i would love the problem to have been solved for sure, those reasons course. i was telling him that because i believe that in his quest to make twitter into the new public square in which ah right that he would discover those things yeah. at the point he chased this down so he then blocked me saying stop <laughs> spamming me which was a very strange thing for him to say mm. in light of the conversation Suspicious that he and i strange. had had 
right, just to be clear, I want to go back to watch how Ruben's trying to think, like, how am I going to handle this? Because, well, to be clear, Brett Weinstein is nuts. Yes. Ruben is just dumb. Yeah. And yeah. so Brett says, look, I was trying to tip uh, Elon off to the fact that something nefarious was happening with my account. Now, I wasn't doing it. I mean, of course, for me personally, I don't want something nefarious to happen. Of course, account. I want to be the main but, character but, in all this. But <laughs> I want to make it clear that what was going on was something deeper than just me. It was bigger than me. Now, I was, of course, the subject of it because <laughs> I'm so prominent and important to getting the truth out. Yes. And the forces of non-truthness in my, the deep state. My, but I was, that's almost but, incidental how important but, I am. <laughs> but I was, which, yeah, right. I mean, just coincidentally, I'm really important. But, and I said, you know, you should look into this, not for my benefit, but for your benefit. <laughs> and then he blocked me that stop annoying me which was he said stop annoying me which was also very strange as if something had happened to the deep state had gotten, gotten into to him. him do you see what i'm saying here dave and then ruben has to like because brad is the crazy one and dave is the stupid one mm -hmm. dave doesn't needs to take time of like how do i respond to this without yeah. him getting him to not follow me on yeah Twitter how do we anymore? packages for market Brad? exactly so go back a little bit watch this turn it's very fun <laughs> Selfish reasons, though, I would love the problem to have been solved for sure, those reasons. Of course, of course. I was telling him that because I believe that in his quest to make Twitter into the new public square in which, uh, yeah. right, that he would discover those things at the point he chased this down. So he then blocked me saying, stop spamming me, which was a very <laughs> strange thing for him to say in light of the conversation that he and I had had. A lot there, a lot there. I'd be happy to talk to him about in. that. Uh, well, maybe he'll, maybe he'll maybe send him this clip, or I'll yeah, I'll message him. But but let's put it this way. Let's say that let's say that I've got but, it all. But is your but is your fear? It's not that you were spamming him like blowing up his feed. What you're really saying, in essence, is that you were a little too ahead of something in the game at which the speed is played that he may not want to be involved in that just yet. Something no, no, like that. Well, I, that, that's possible. Uh, what I you know, if I take everything at face value, okay? I was trying to tell him something about the machine that he bought, and I'm taking him at his word as to why he bought it, what he wanted to accomplish. I was trying to help him in that, and it involved things that I can see in my account. And, you know, he told me that, you know, one of the things that was true before he bought Twitter, he had the most engaged with account, and that he could feel that the way the account worked was unnatural. So I'm reporting something that he had experienced personally in his own life. The like, we can't watch this anymore. This it is, is just like that. Honestly, it's like at one point you start to feel like, oh, it can't be that I'm annoyed. When he blocked me it, on Twitter, I took it as stand by yeah. soldier. We will need to fight right, this right, battle right. later when we are more prepared. There has to be something more to this than he didn't want to see I, my tweets anymore. I got out ahead of where he was. Mm. He couldn't handle this kind of war. Like you have advanced too far on the battlefield for me. <laughs> Yeah, like, look, my I was I was texting my ex constantly, constantly, trying to get back together, and then she blocked me, and it must just be because you know her her new it's boyfriend, not time. her new boyfriend, it's not time. Her new boyfriend is too crazy, but they're gonna break up anytime soon, and then she'll unblock me, and, is, and we'll get back together. Is, There's a plan. I, it is amazing. Because uh, they're guy. both trying to prove their proximity to Elon in the same way. Like, oh, like, totally. like, like, wait, wait, wait. I mean, that's just what's so amazing about these simps. Like, like he's Brett can't register in his mind because his ego is so massive that Elon didn't want to hear from him anymore. And then in response, Ruben is like, oh, I'll message him personally and see what we can get out of this. Exactly. Because it's all about how they can suck up to big it's billionaire daddy. Yeah. It's a, I just love the point, though, that like, it's not that I was annoying him. It's that <laughs> my agenda, I moved too quickly. You're too ahead of it. In the war on the secret <laughs> forces that are uh, that are um, uh, shadow banning, I moved too quickly. I advanced too quickly. It's true. I, he was in the <laughs> rear. He was in the rear guard. I'm on the vanguard. Yeah. And when he, I uh, am at the. I'm on point. When he blocked me from Instagram, I took it to mean we need to get our supply lines ready for when you advance that far. <laughs> Exactly.
<laughs> we don't have the forces yet to fight the war that you represent. Uh, it really, Too eager, soldier, but just, yes. I, I respect what you're doing nonetheless. Stand back and stand by, Brad. <laughs> uh, amazing. Really amazing. Um, I should just add, and this really, I, I, I'm sort of fascinated by this. There's a story in the Wall Street Journal. Just pop this up, uh, if you could. Um, about Elon Musk. That sort of came out of nowhere. Um, I mean, people have heard, like, you know, there was talk, like, when he got high on Rogan, there was a big issue and this and that. But the, the, the story um, reads, uh, Elon Musk has used illegal drugs worrying leaders at Tesla and SpaceX. And, like, the first graph is... Um, the, uh, in recent years, some executives in, in recent years, some executives and board members at his companies, others close to the billionaire, have developed persistent concern that there is another component driving his behavior, his use of drugs. Uh, and they fear the SpaceX chief executive's drug could have major consequences, not just for his health, but also the six companies and billions in assets he oversees, according to people familiar with Musk and the companies. And then he goes on to talk about how he's used LSD, cocaine, ecstasy, and psychedelic mushrooms uh, often at private parties around the world where attendees sign non-disclosure agreements or give up their phones to enter. Yeah. Now, I, 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 this happens to me uh, <laughs> when I go to some comedy clubs. Right. They'll ask for your phones. When I saw Chappelle, actually, yeah. But, they did. Um, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, but not in private parties, I should say. But, but, but those private <laughs> parties, like... You know, every athlete you know of or whatever, like LeBron James, when they have a party, they do the same stuff. Right? I mean, that's rumors. All these a lot of really, really wealthy people do this so that none of this stuff gets leaked when NBA they want to when oh they want to party. Yeah. But look, you know, taking ketamine in therapy is not terribly sort of like it's not. It, it, it hasn't had the uptake that, um, you know, the, the, the regular talk therapy has had, obviously, but it's becoming more popular. It's not that strange. I mean, I know people who, um, uh, many people who it have is. done ketamine uh, therapy. But you can, overdo, you can overdo it. I mean, not to like bring, the, the, that, <laughs> that was the cause of death for Matthew Perry recently, who also, I believe, had a prescription for, but, but you know, you can obviously overdose. Yes. And use it recreationally. Yeah. And you can drink yourself to death. But what's more interesting, I'm less interested in the fact that the guy is, takes drugs I don't know how often he does, maybe, it, but it's not clear to me from this article even that there's, you know, that, that it is like a day-to-day -day thing. What's really more interesting is that they're writing these type of articles mm -hmm. and there are people, um, whoever they are, that would be, um, you know, I guess, uh, uh, Accord, people familiar with Musk and the companies mm. who are trying to undermine Musk. Yeah. And I should be clear, uh, familiar with Musk and the companies is probably not the deep state. It's probably the deep board members yes. uh, at that point. The real deep state. Or people that own a lot of Tesla stock well, or a lot yeah. of space. I mean, that too, right. But like, it's just yeah. that the, the fact they're going to the Wall Street Journal also indicates that. I'm reminded uh, Ronan Farrow in The New Yorker last August had a piece that mentioned ketamine as well, where they cited a, com a ketamine researcher, Amit Anand, who confirmed that the drug could increase erratic behavior. A little bit of ketamine has an effect similar to alcohol. Can cause disinhibition where you do and say things you otherwise would not at higher doses it has another effect which is dissociation you feel detached from your body and surroundings so um and i would just say elon often thinks <laughs> the world the, the universe is a simulation um but uh maybe that's unrelated i mean who knows i can tell you that um with or without drugs the guy is a charlatan yeah. and uh but it is interesting that some of those people who have been supportive of him in the past, which I assume if you're going to be involved in one of his companies, you would be supportive of him in some fashion, um, are coming for him now. So uh, that's going to be interesting.